Thai Kitchen, from Thailand to your table. Hi, I'm Emily here with Chef Michael from McCormick, makers of Thai Kitchen. Hi, Michael, what are we up to today? We're going to make a red curry and chicken. Sounds hard, is it? No, it's so <laughs> easy, it's very simple. It's very simple. So basically, on medium-high heat, we take our premium Thai Kitchen coconut milk. Now, why is it premium? It's the first press of, of the coconut. Oh, wow, okay. So it really is, it looks great, but yeah. rich and luscious. Yeah, for sure. And then we add uh, our chicken stock. And if you didn't have chicken stock, water is, is sufficient, but chicken stock has a nicer flavor. Okay. And we add a little bit of brown sugar. And now we add our Thai kitchen red curry paste. Oh, you know what? This is one of my favorite curry paste, and I love that it's red. But I know Thai kitchen has other varieties. Could you use any of them? Yeah, we have a green, which is a little bit higher on the heat scale. And then there's a yellow, which is a bit lower on the heat scale. Okay. And the red's somewhere right in the middle. That's funny, because a lot of people think the red is much more spicier than the green. <laughs> Good to know. And basically what we do now is we just bring this to a boil. This smells great already, Michael. What's next? Okay, so now that it's come to a boil, we want to add the uh, Thai kitchen fish sauce. And at this point, we can add our chicken. Now, you're putting the chicken right into the broth. Any oh, yeah. reason why? Yeah, what we want to do is we want that to absorb all those wonderful flavors. So if you sear it first, it kind of locks those flavors and won't let them in. Oh, so it goes right through, penetrates the chicken. Exactly. That's delicious. And now what we do is we stir this, and we're going to cook it now for about five minutes until the chicken is cooked. Wonderful. So now the chicken is cooked for about five minutes. Okay, and can you use other proteins? Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You can use tofu, shrimp, uh, pork, beef if you want. Great absolutely. options. Yeah. So now we're going to turn this down to a, to a medium heat, and we're going to add our vegetables. So here's where some color and crunch is going to come in. Exactly. And, you know, we're using this choice of vegetables of carrots, beans, peppers, and uh, broccoli. But, again, you can use, you know, your favorite vegetable. And basically now we just let this cook for another five minutes, and then we'll be ready to serve it. Wow, that's a really quick meal. Yes, for sure. It really is. Okay, so now this is uh, simmered for five minutes. The vegetables are cooked. The chicken is cooked. We're ready to serve it. I can't wait to dig in. Mm -hmm. You're just serving it over some jasmine rice? Yeah. yeah. That sauce looks amazing. Doesn't it? it smells so wonderful. And it's got such great color as well. And that's it. Ready to go. For more easy-to-prepare recipes, visit ThaiKitchenCanada.com.